Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless each and everyone joining in the name of Jesus. Wow. This is a day the Lord has made that we shall rejoice and be glad. And today again, I bring us God's fresh word. This particular prophetic word title says, The female that attacked you is coming to beg for forgiveness. Hallelujah. The female that attacked you is coming to beg forgiveness for in Jesus name I use this opportunity to welcome each and everyone if you're seeing my face for your very first time God bless you my name is Basil I am the man God is using hallelujah if you have not yet subscribed you're the only one remaining do where to subscribe do where to like do where to share do where to comment for in Jesus name God bless each and everyone for in Jesus name amen I saw a male that is coming to ask for forgiveness. I saw this is something that was happening in the realm of the spirit. This particular person has been attacking you, trying by all costs, fighting you in the realm of the spirit, but she could not succeed. And the prayer you made, hallelujah, some few days back, what 12 midnight prayer has affected this this particular female, and she's coming to ask for mercy. She's coming to cry for mercy. I pray for you. As this particular person comes, may you have mercy in Jesus' name. There is something that I always tell people when it comes to forgiveness or have mercy on someone. Oh, uh, I used an example the other day. You can only know this, the true self of people when they are in the position to do something and they don't do it. I know it's a very difficult at time to let go. You might forgive, forgive, but the pain is still there. Praise Master Jesus. One time, something happened. A lot of people were blaming the guy, that the guy was wicked. He never forgave, he never let it go. He never allowed anything to pass. I was like, a lot of people are blaming that guy because they are not in that power. So you that you don't have the power over somebody, you can easily say, I will, I will forgive the person because you are not in a position to punish. So I only know people that are able to forgive and let it go when they are in the position to punish and something happened and they let it go. So you cannot tell me that you can let it go Unless you have been given the position of that military man, of that lawyer, and then you don't punish when somebody commits a crime. Another way, a young child at the age of 10 years cannot say to me, I forgive you, I have mercy upon you. Yes, like I pity you, if not I could have dealt with you. Why? It, the child does not have the capacity it takes for that child to defeat me when it comes to like, even if we are fighting physically. So it's impossible for a child of 10 years to go and lie that do you know I'm the one, I just let him go. I have mercy on him. Praise Master Jesus. But I can easily say, I forgive you. Why? Because I have the capacity, I have the power to beat you up, to do that to you. So if you offend me, that I have the power to deal with you, I have the power to punish you, then I decide to let you go. That is what we call you have mercy and you can let something go. The Bible says when, you, when we forgive, we should forget. I know it's very painful when they tell you that this is the person that has been fighting you. This is the person that is beyond, behind your failure. This is the person that has been trying to kill you. When you hear such a thing, I know it's very, very painful. But you need to let, to let it go. Somebody will be coming to tender an apology later. Somebody is coming to kneel before you and ask for mercy. Somebody is coming to cry before you, crying, crying and asking for forgiveness. Hallelujah. Yes, and the Lord is asking you to let it go. Praise Master Jesus. At this particular point of time, everything will be given to you. You have all the right. You have all the power. You have everything to punish and judge the person. Because after all the confession, the confession, you will be the only person that can execute punishment to be in the life of this person. But my prayer is that you have, you are in the position to do that. 
That is when God wants to see your heart. I pray that may the Lord give you a heart of human so that you might be able to hear this word and forgive this particular woman as she comes to ask for mercy. For in Jesus' name. I pray for somebody watching and connecting in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. As this particular person comes, may you forgive this person for in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless each and every one for in Jesus' name. Amen. I give God all the glory. Thank you all family for coming. Thank you all for watching for in Jesus' name. If you were blessed by this word, make sure you're sharing. Make sure you're liking. Make sure you're subscribing. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all for in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Shalom. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.